I know. You're letting it get the best of you. So you see the glass is half empty. But I need you to see the glass is half full. 51%. All I'm asking for is 51% optimism. That way at least I know your mindset is more focused on the positive than the negative. Today is the day that you stop being a worry ward. The definition of worry is to give way to anxiety and unease. To allow one's mind to dwell on difficulties and troubles. And right now in these troubled times, you're spending way too much of your mental energy on everything that's going wrong. So I need you to come out of the darkness of worry and enter the illumination of mental sunshine. Besides, most of the stuff that you worry about never happens anyway. So this is the moment for you to choose. This is the moment for you to decide to let worry lie dormant and activate optimism and allow it to become performant. <laughs> I can hear you now. But Fry, you don't understand. I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't afford to pay this. The kids are running around crazy. I don't have to stop. Turn off that worry, turn off that wine. I want you to look at it like this. Think about it when all this wasn't going on. We didn't have all this madness and all this drama and you planned a trip. When you plan a trip, you think about all the positive and fun things you're gonna get out of the trip. It would be counterproductive for you to sit up and focus if you were driving and say, well man, we might have a wreck and everybody might die. Or if you're flying, oh, the plane might crash. If you spend more time focusing in on that, which is a possibility, you would never wanna travel. You would never wanna go on a vacation. You would never wanna do anything. This is the exact same thing going on right now. We can focus in and worry about everything that's going wrong and it's not going to change anything. Control what you can control. And right now I need you to control your mind. I need you to protect your mind. I need you to feed your mind because a lot of that is why you're worrying so much. You gotta be strong enough to mentally dominate the challenges that you're facing in your life. If you wake up and the first thing you do is turn on the news, and then after that, you get on the phone with somebody that's pessimistic, somebody that's talking doom and gloom, and then you go back to the news, and then you, you start believing that stuff. It starts consuming you. That's what you're feeding your mind. Sometimes you gotta turn it off. When that person comes, no, I'm not trying to hear that today. In one of my songs, I wrote a lyric and I said, optimism on my worst day. Been going hard since my first day. And that'll never change till my hearse day. I vow to live every moment like my birthday. You gotta keep up with the current events. You gotta know what's going on to stay educated. But you cannot allow it to consume you. What are you feeding your mind? Sometimes we're feeding our mind worry. I need you to feed your mind optimism. What book are you reading? What podcast are you listening to? What webinar are you watching? There are things out there that you can pour positivity, optimism into your life. I said 51%, I really want 80%. I'm trying to live 80% optimism and 20% worry because hey, life is gonna happen. Each and every one of our lives comes with its own set of built-in problems. Right now, we all are facing pretty much the exact same problem. And so that is something that will cause a little worry. We are human, so there is an element of worry that we do have to face, but it only has 20%. For me, I need you to try to work hard to get up to 80% optimism, 20% worry. And that way worry has its place and it's lying more dormant than right up in your face. Do not allow worry to make you think that you are a victim because we're not victims here. We're victors and our mindset is to win each and every day of our life. I love this quote. It says, when you worry, you do not take away tomorrow's troubles. What you do is, you take away today's peace. So eliminate worry, less worry, more optimism. And when you can face head on the facts of life and deal with what you're dealing with, and still find a way to smile at the end of the day because you know everything is gonna be all right. You find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life 
a Wednesday. And that's where we're free. This is a great day to win. Let's go.